Local City Commission violating the First Amendment. A Bay City resident says yes, so they contacted an organization dedicated to defending the constitutional right. A spokesperson tells TV5's James Felton why Bay City leaders need to change their rules. The City Commission's rules that ban uh, during public comment period of City Commission meetings any comments that demean city officials or officers or employees uh, or comments that make quote, derogatory comments directed at another person um, or comments that use vulgarities. Those are those are the three uh, policies that we are targeting. Aaron Turr, director of public advocacy at the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression, tells us the rules for public comment at city commission meetings in Bay City violate the First Amendment. Turr says the public comment policies are unconstitutional because they target speech based on the viewpoint it expresses. So a public commenter can heap praise on city officials all day uh, but the moment that they say something that a, a uh, city official subjectively thinks is demeaning, they violated the city code. And that sort of viewpoint discrimination is one of the worst ways that the government can violate the First Amendment. FIRE has sent two letters to Bay City officials regarding the public comment policies. The first in June, the second last week. Bay City City Manager Dana Muscott was not available for an on-camera interview, but she did provide us with a statement saying that we received their letter. We have no desire to violate the First Amendment and as such have sent the letter to our attorneys to review. When we hear back from them, we will act in accordance with their guidance. For his part, Tur is looking forward to hearing from Bay City administrators soon. We're hopeful we can reach a mutually agreeable resolution with the city that addresses the city's concerns uh, while also respecting its citizens' First Amendment rights. James Felton, WNEM TV5. He also tells us all legal options are on the table if the Bay City City Commission does not change its public comment policies to align with the First Amendment.